I have a big rectangle right here. That's right. Then two circles inscribed. Okay, what is the length of this rectangle? That's right. So the radius of this big circle is two. So two and two together, four, right? Oh, uh, that's it. Okay, so four right there. Now, uh, next one. That's right. So we better add some additional line to help us, right? Okay, first of all, I'm going to put R right here. Oh, that's it. Just like this. Fantastic. What about this radius? Right there. Small circle. Then, oh, also, I'm going to add as many as possible right there. Oh. Then, uh, also, I can add this one right there, right? Oh, so I can make, oh, that's right, right triangle. That way, I can use what? Pythagorean theorem again. Now, I can label, oh, this one's R. That's right. What about this one? Also R. Okay, this one is a 2. That means, what about this one right here? Okay, so that means, oh, 6 minus 2, then minus R. That means 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus R. Oh, same as right here. Okay. So 4 minus R. Okay. The base of this right, uh, right triangle. Okay. So I can use what? Pythagorean theorem. Okay. What about this one? This one is a 2 right there. And this one is a R together. So that's right. So 2 plus R. So we can do that. Okay. So no big deal. Which one first? Okay. Now what about this one? Oh, this one. So that was R. So total was 2. So 2 minus R right there. Oh, 2 minus R. Oh man, so we have right triangle, so we can make what? That's right, so Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let me use the shortest one first. How about that? You know, it doesn't matter which one first. Okay, so now 2 minus r, okay, uh, then square, okay, plus, okay, what about this one? 4 minus r squared, right? That's it, okay, equals. Now the right hand side is gonna be hypotenuse, okay, 2 plus r squared that's it so now i'm gonna solve it okay so two times two is four minus four r plus r squared okay what about the second one right here oh that's right okay 16 plus okay actually minus then eight r okay plus r squared that's it okay what about this one so two times two which is what that's right four then plus 4r, then plus r squared. That's it. Now, I got to scratch left hand side, right hand side, exactly the same one. 4 and 4. Ooh, that's it. Oh, what about r squared and r squared? Oh, that's it. Now, oh, all done, right? Now, I'm going to move everything to my left hand side. That's it. First of all, okay, so r squared. Anything I use, I have to scratch first, okay? Otherwise, you get confused. Okay, so all squared, that's it, all squared. Now, okay, what about minus 4R, minus 8R, that means minus 12R. Now, I'm going to move this this one to my left-hand side, it's going to be minus again. So, that means uh, totally how many? Negative 12 and negative 4, which is minus 16, okay, R. Okay, then, uh, what about, ooh, yeah, oh, right here, okay, so this one is hiding here. Okay, I'm going to stretch this one. Then plus 16. So equals 0. That's it. Now, oh, I cannot factor this one. So this one's not factorable, right? So I can use what? That's right. Quadratic formula, which is so r equals in this case. Okay, so long fractional sign, just like this. Then negative r. Okay, actually negative uh, p. Okay, so you remember this one, right? Okay, plus minus. Okay, square root. Then p squared minus 4ac keep on going now over to a right a all you have to do just plug them in okay minus b that means negative 16 minus minus means plus that's why 16 right there plus or minus oh then square root just like that then oh negative 16 square which is what okay that's right 256 just like that then minus 4ac 4 times 1 times 16, which is 64. That's it. Very simple. Over 2a. That's right. a is 1. That's it. 2. That's it. Also, you have to notice this one, okay? So as soon as you see this one, if you use 
Okay, plus sign right here. Okay, that means, oh, man, this is going to be big number. Plus 16 is going to be a huge number, right? Then R cannot be that big. Okay, so if big circle R is only 2, right? Okay, that means this one, definitely. So that means we cannot use positive anyway. Okay. Then we go like this, 16. Okay, minus. Only minus, okay? Square root of, okay, so 256 minus 64, so 192. Oh, that's it over 2 that's it so if you calculate this one so 16 obviously 16 minus okay then this one is 8 square root 3 right 8 square root of 3 over 2 oh man that's it so that means oh final answer right here okay which is or uh, you can reduce all this one okay that means this is going to be divided by 2 so 8 minus 4 square root of 3 so if you want to uh, use calculator, fine, to find out final answer. If you want to go more, then that's right. So 4 can go out, it's a common factor. Okay, that means 2 minus square root of 3, right? Okay, you know square root of 3, so 1.7321. So that's it. So 1.7321 times 4. Okay, that's what it is. So final answer for this one, 1 point. Oh man, fantastic. 1.0716 unit long okay so that means oh this r is a little more than one oh understandable okay this one was two now this one yep makes sense that's it